My primary medium is borosilicate glass torch work. Taken a lot of crafts classes through junior high and then uh, got interested in tying hemp necklaces, buying glass beads, and then I actually was fortunate enough to meet a guy that was making those and I saw him making them and, and I got pretty much hooked right away. I start with cold glass and then I'll heat it up uh, manually here on the torch and um, use, the, use the torch, gravity, centrifugal force, and some tools to, uh, to manipulate the glass. The furnace glass is a, little, is a lower temperature, has a softening point of a, like between 900 and 1000 degrees, and then the softening point of borosilicate glass, which is this type of glass, uh, is 1510 degrees. When I first started, there wasn't even any place to get glasses or anything like that. So, uh, again, that's one of the reasons why we we do our public demos. Uh, we do offer classes and stuff like that. You know, a lot of that was pretty organic as far as what I create. Some of it's been a mixture of what people have asked me to make. I definitely get inspired by uh, making like little nature work. Uh, I do a lot of like aquatic life, fish, turtles, like sea turtles octopus and then just uh i like the vessel work as well like um like the shapes of vessels trying to create a particular shape classic vessel work i'm still really mesmerized by the material the difficulty factor and working with it, it it always keeps me interested you can always like up the scale of something that you're working on or just push yourself in a different direction making you know like i said going from uh, a wildlife sculpture or something to like a nice high-end uh, set of champagne flutes or a big bass or something like that. Definitely like the, the difficulty of the medium combined with what you can make has always just really intrigued me. It, it always keeps you interested. Going to bed, you're thinking about projects. Waking up, you're thinking about what you're gonna make in the morning. Art's always, it's like what, when you get inspired and something makes you smile or you think, oh, that's really beautiful. I've always thought that like machines, beautiful machines were, looked good, nice cars looked good. My crafts teacher was obviously a big inspiration for me. He made the beautiful clay pieces. And then now being around other other artists here in the valley, uh, I get exposed to it all the time and I definitely really, really appreciate beautiful artwork. Like getting, getting a good painting, you know, can inspire you to make a good sculpture or something like that. Primarily vessel work, uh, bottles, cups, vases. Uh, I do quite a bit of like jewelry work, um, like pendants. And uh, uh, I dabble in marbles and a little bit of sculpture. It's like mesmerizing from start to finish. There's tense moments where you're right on the edge of finishing a project and you know the, the, the failure could come at any second for a number of reasons. And um, yeah, it's just a constantly a technical challenge. And for me, it's kind of a, a soothe, just a soothing process to be in motion and working with it. So my annealing oven here, my kiln, I'll use that for preheating an item. So like if I needed to work on this piece of tubing, generally as I'll stick it in the oven to warm up to temperature, that thing holds at 1,050 degrees, which is also the annealing temperature for glass. So then depending on how thick it is, and uh, there are some other variables, but uh, generally on how thick it is, uh, you'll have it on a cool down cycle too, so it'll ramp down in temperature and cool nice and slowly. But, you know, it's a, I use that thing all day. It's a, another tool, uh, basically a, a, hold, a holding it temperature tool. And then uh, for all my finished product, it sits in there overnight and I'll take it out in the morning. No, no, I, I, I mean, this is what I envision doing the rest of my life. Uh, if I can make a little, little bit of money and do what I like to do anyway, I'm a project guy, I like staying busy and making stuff and working on stuff, so it's just, I mean, my mind just works that way. Again, it's like a big puzzle and I just want to put all the pieces together, so that's a lifetime's work. <laughs>